Hi everybody, it is Steven from Fragrance Lair, and I am now starting a far, far, oh goodness gracious, a four point mini series for my top 20 fall fragrances. And not only is it top 20, but I also will be throwing in three honorable mentions, which will be mentioned in the first video, which is now. So the first video, which is now, is going to be eight fragrances. Three honorables, five fragrances, and then the next three videos are going to be five, five, and five. So 23 fragrances altogether, 20 are going to be on the list. Now, the first 20, well, the last 20 fragrances from 20 to 1 are going to be in order. So well, number 1 is going to be my favorite, number 20 is going to be my least favorite. So this has a order. This is a legit ordered video. So... There's a difference between 18 and 19. There's a difference between 1 and 2. And, yeah. So, this video is going to include niche and designer, but overwhelmingly designer. I'm, I, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, so, let's get into it, okay? Let's go on to the first honorable mention. The first honorable mention is Terra McGlaze Pure Leather. Right there. Here we go. Isn't he beautiful? Now, with this one, this one you get leather, caramel, and sweet accords to this bad boy right here. Now, the reason why this didn't make the list is because there's so many other fragrances that are a lot more complex and interesting to my nose, which I'll be grabbing for in the fall. This I'll be wearing in the fall, too, but not nearly, nearly as much as the ones who actually made the cut. So, yeah. Honorable mention number one, Terra McGlaze Pure Leather. Honorable mention number two is... Hane Mores H I M right here. Now this one you get some woody notes, warm spicy notes, and cinnamon notes. Now the written now these three honorable mentions a year ago, all three of these would have easily made the top forty cut. Easily. But now since I have so many more fragrances in my collection from a year ago, these aren't that good to where I'm gonna put them in that list. They maybe one out of the three might make it to the winter list, probably not, I'm not sure. Well, no, definitely not. No way. They might not even be an honorable mention. I don't know. So, yeah. Ani Mores, H-I-M, Woody, Warm Spicy, Cinnamon. Now, yeah. Okay, there we go. The third honorable mention and final from the House of Scent story. This one is 24 gold. Here we go. The bottle. Now, this one is a Woody, Amber, Vanilla based scent. Very nice stuff. I like it. This one was teetering on and off the list be from becoming an honorable to an actual list maker, but the one reason why this isn't on the list is because there's something else on the list that resembles it that I like more and it's a little bit more complex. But nevertheless, this would have been an easy top 20 a year ago from today, but it's not. 2014, people. I can't believe 2014 is almost over. Jesus Christ, where's time going, bro? So yeah, you got your top three honorable mentions, no order. You got Pure Leather, H.I.M., and 24 Gold. Now, the first fragrance of the list, number 20, goes to a designer. Not that well known in the community. It's pretty good stuff. I like it. It is Diesel's Zero Plus Masculine with notes of warm, spicy, cinnamon, and powdery. Now... First spray, this is extremely powdery, and then it dries down. The cinnamon comes into play. It's a very beautiful cinnamon. This has a very Middle Eastern vibe to it. It's not, not a lot of stuff that you'll be smelling too much in America, but if you walk into a Middle Eastern scent shop, or I should say a spice shop, you'd be very hard-pressed to find places that did not smell like this because of the, the spices and stuff. The cloves, the cinnamon, all that good stuff that I love. So, yeah. The first one, number 20, Diesel Zero Plus Masculine. There we go. Turn it upside down. There we go. Beautiful. Now we are at number 19. This one, some people might not agree with me because how low on the list it is, but I have my reasons. It is Dior's Fahrenheit. Gorgeous stuff. Leather, woody, violet combo right here. Never get bored of it. The leather in here is very nice. It's very. This is a very pleasing scent. It's different, but not too different where it's going to scare a lot of people around you. So that's why I like it. It's very nice stuff. I don't wear it as much because it's just kind of never think about it. But every time I make a video when this is in it, I tend to wear it the week of me making it because it's in my head. 
but I never forget about it that much because it's always on these lists. So, <sighs> love some of that stuff. So yeah, Dior's Fahrenheit. There we go, number 19. Now, number 18, one of my newer fragrances in my collection. Another one I haven't heard any talk about. Any. No one talks about it. They should. Talk about it, people. Talk about it. Okay, yeah. It's number 18. Bentley. Bentley Intense for Men. Very nice bottle. Luxurious looking bottle. Very. It's new. This one, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. It's going to first impression on this soon. So, I kind of want to don't want to get too much into it because it's going to be giving away a lot of the um, stuff about it. But I'm going to just say a couple quick things about it. It's woody, warm, spicy, and boozy. There you go. I'm not going to get too much into it. Very nice stuff. I like it a lot. So, yeah, well, look out for this, people. I like it. All right, so that was number 18. Bentley Intense for Men. Now, number 17 is very good stuff. It is D Squared Potion. There we go, right here. Now, this one is an amber, cinnamon, warm, spicy combo. Gorgeous stuff. I love it. It's similar to HIM, in my opinion, but a little bit more complex and deep and sophisticated, in my opinion. That's why it's on the list rather than an honorable mention, but it's still kind of high up on the list. Or low on the list. Depends on how you want to go about it. So, But yeah. Warm, spicy, cinnamon, and amber. There you go. Very nice stuff. D squared potion. Number 17. Now, number 16. And the final one for the um, this video. This one is a designer. This one is Jose. Jesus de Pozos. Halloween man. With some fresh spicy components. Battered around with. Apple martini and cinnamon. Beautiful stuff. Now, this has been compared to 1 million, but I think the cinnamon is a little bit more mature. A little bit. There's still very immature fragrances. And the apple martini was what really sets this fragrance apart, in my opinion. They're still both in the same game, but this one's playing on a higher level, in my opinion. But no one's going to beat the hype that 1 million has. Disclu dis disclaimer 1 million's not on this list, and neither is Lamal. So if you're going to hate, hate now rather than later. Hate whenever. I don't give a fuck. So yeah. Jesus de Pozos. That one million. Halloween. Halloween man. I'll be wearing this on Halloween. I'm already telling you that now. I'm telling you. So yeah. So there we go. There is numbers 20 through 16 with the three honorable mentions. Check back next week or whenever for I think 15 through 11. Let's see, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Yes, I am a fragrance head, not a mathematician. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day or night. I'm not time zone prejudice, and enjoy the fall season. Bye, everybody. Thank you.